Welcome back. We'll slip below 18,000 for the Nifty, but we have a lot of ground to cover in terms of specific stocks. So let's talk about the top loser on the Nifty, which is Tata Motors. It has disappointed the street and it has disappointed brokerages as well. Sonia is here to tell us more about uh, what the brokerages are making of what was a disappointing set of numbers. Thanks a lot for that, Ekta. Well, you know, to start off with, I have Motilal Oswal, which has said that GLR's numbers are an all-round miss and they've cut their EPS estimates for FY23 to a loss from a profit earlier on. They still have a buy on the stock, though, with a target price of 500 rupees. Followed by which there's HDFC Securities that has maintained a reduce with a target price of 415 rupees. Now, the main concern, according to them, is the rise that we've seen in Tata Motors' debt. The debt has risen to almost 60,000 crores and that is a big concern. And it's, it will be challenging for the management now to meet their net debt-free target by FY24. Let's move on to Philip Capital. That is a bit more optimistic. They say that all of these global risks are transient in nature and the stock offers a great risk-reward perspective at current levels. They maintain a buy with a target price of 530. JP Morgan has a neutral on the stock with a target price cut to 410 from 450 earlier. They've also cut the FY22 to 25 EBITDA by 3 to 9%. They say the India business has disappointed in this quarter. And the management has cut the guidance for volumes and free cash flow for the second half of the year. CLSA uh, has an outperform. They've raised their target price to 491 rupees. JLR uh, performs better than the India business in the second quarter, they say. So all around, if you'd have to see, it's a mi bit of a mixed bag. Most brokerages are disappointed with the fact that the JLR business is on the weaker side. But uh, also the fact that debt has been rising and the company has cut their guidance. Back to you. All right, Sonia, thanks a lot for that. So that's about Tata Motors. But uh, Piramal Enterprises, Sekta, it's, uh, uh, rather, uh, Piramal Pharma is what Sekta spoke about. Let's talk about enterprises. Now there are two different businesses. One of them is the financial, the other one is uh, the pharmaceutical space. Piramal Enterprises down almost, what, 9-odd percent. Abhishek, what was so bad in the numbers that the street did not like? When you report a net loss, this is what the street will... <laughs>